Okay, let's finish the chapter five. So here's the review part, page ninety-eight. Right, number one. Here you can see the answers, so you can check yourself. Everything is very easy, right? Yellow ribbon and green ribbon, right? After you read the problem. So the yellow ribbon they tell us it's eight meters long, right? It is five times as long as the green ribbon, right? What does it mean? The green one, green, is shorter, right? The green, yellow, right? Is shorter. How shorter? How times shorter? Do your math here. Okay. Now, second problem, right? A fruit seller here morning, in the morning he sell, he sold five, three over four kilogram of blueberries. Right, so in the afternoon, afternoon he spent, he sold less. Right, so how do we find less? Nine over ten kilogram. This minus nine over ten kilograms, and you find your answer. Right, and after you find your answer, they ask you how much altogether. So you uh, take this number and this number, and you got your answer. Okay. All right, next problem. So take your time to read it, right? Here you have your answer. So the battery has a floor, right? You have a length, you have a width, right? So you can calculate the area. And then, you know, $11 per square meter, right? So you have this number, you have this number, the area, and you multiply it by price and you find your answer. This is gonna be your answer. Okay, next one, Thomas painted four-fifths of the wall red, one-fifth of the uh, remaining part yellow. What fraction of the wall was painted yellow, right? Just, uh, again, if you need to do this, right, you need to draw your model, right? The total wall, then the remainder, draw your remainder again, and then divided by five parts, right, and one-fifth of the remainder will be yellow. Okay, so from there, try to get the answer. Next one, a pastry chef made some tarts and cupcakes. Right, this amount of the tarts were chocolate tarts and the rest were fruit tarts. So three-sevenths of the fruit tarts were lychee tarts and the rest were peach tarts. There were 96 peach tarts. Okay, same thing again, right? You have a total model, so you have part of it is chocolate, chocolate, and part of it is fruit, the remainder. So you take the remainder again and you divide it, right? One fraction is uh, lychee tarts, another fraction is peach tarts, right? And then you know the total, no, total is 96. Try to do it too. All right, all the problems are pretty straightforward. I'm gonna stop here, check your answers. If you have questions, you can, you can ask me in the comments or you can ask me in the classroom. So this is our chapter wrap up, right? We just finished the chapter five, solving word problems, okay? So there are many different things that we can do using the fractions. So one is like, we, we learned how to relate fractions and division, right? So here is a problem that you can read. And basically, you, so something whole, right, can be divided into parts. And we can, we can use fractions as division. Next one, find the fraction of a set, right? Uh, if there, so set, as I said, so again, if you have something big and you need to know the part of it, the fraction of it, the fraction, right? You can do this using fractions. Always you multiply, multiplication. So you have something big, you multiply by the fraction and you find the part of it. So one third, one third of 60 is 20. Uh, we can add and subtract. <coughs> subtract mixed numbers yeah so uh, here you can read this problem too different operations like what is the difference between two fractions right 
subtraction. If they need, if you, if you need to know, like all together, you do addition. You add your fraction, fractions. Multiplication, right? Like again, when they're trying to confuse you, and they give you a fraction of length, and then they give you a part. Seven eighths is part, right? Seven eighths is part. So how do you find a part of some of a, of a length? that is represented as a fraction. You multiply it, right? You multiply using your simplification. Here is your answer. So check, check this thing too. <coughs> okay. Uh, lastly, uh, multiply a mixed number by a whole number. This is also, we learned this thing. So for example, in this problem, right, there is a, uh, some uh, mass of the meat and we know the price for the kilogram how do we know the price for everything right we just multiply the price price per kilogram to our total mass and we find total price okay I'm gonna erase this all so take a look on this problems again take your moment if you have a book if you don't have a book right think through it this is very easy all right, and the last page of the chapter, right? Think through these three problems, right? Uh, here you have your answers, so you can check yourself. If you have a question, yeah, send me a comment or send me a message, or you can just ask me directly. All right.